today we are going to discuss about 1 lakh and after 1 lakh numbers in the previous class we discussed about uh, up to 1 lakh what are those ones tens hundred thousands ten thousands one lakh one lakh here after one lakh we have so many numbers in the place value chart the number of digits for example one lakh this one lakh has six digits one two three four five six six digits if the numbers if the digits in a number are increased then the place value chart extends to its left ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousand lakhs one ten hundred thousand ten thousand one lakh if the digits in a number increased then the place value chart extended to its left extended to its left for example lakhs after we will get 10 lakhs the number of digits in a number increased the number of digits in a number increases then the place value chart extends to its left and one more thing if any number if any digit in a number increases it extends to left let us discuss about the numbers placed on abacus abacus here i am taking a number 53465 53465 first you have to write this in words form 53,400 465 65 writing a number in words form is called numeration writing a number in words form is called numeration here ones place tens place hundreds place thousands place ten thousands place five is under ten thousands place we are calling like this we are naming fifty three thousand four hundred and sixty five five is under ones place Six is under tens place. So four is under hundreds place. Three is under thousands place. Five is under ten thousands place. 
In this way, a number can be present on abacus. Let us take one more example. Sixty-five thousand eight hundred and forty. Sixty-five thousand eight hundred and forty. First, you have to write this number in words form. Sixty-five thousand eight hundred and forty. Eight hundred and forty. In this, ones place, tens place, hundreds place, tens place. Hundreds place, thousand, ten thousand. Draw an abacus. Five. We have five digits in this number, so you have to draw five lines. That is ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. Ones place we have zero, so nothing to draw here. Tens place we have four, so you have to draw four bubbles on this bar. Hundredth place we have eight, so you have to draw eight bubbles on the on this bar. Hundredth bar. Thousands place we have. Five, five. Ten thousands place we have six, six. This number can be represented on the abacus like this: sixty-five thousand eight hundred and forty. Sixty-five thousand eight hundred and forty. Let us take an another example. One lakh. In this one lakh, we have six digits. So you have to draw six bars on this abacus. Ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place. Ten thousand and last place. In ones place we have zero, so nothing to draw here. In tens place same zero, hundreds place zero, thousands place zero, ten thousands place zero, last place one. So we have to draw one bubble on this last place bar. One lakh can be represented like this on this abacus. Now, I'm drawing one abacus chart. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand. So this is five-digit number because I'm drawing only five bars on this abacus chart. So this is five-digit number. Let us find out the number used this abacus by using this abacus. In ten thousands place, I drawn only one bubble. So in ten thousands place, we have one. In thousands place, we have five bubbles. One, two, three, four, five. So in thousands place, we have five. In hundredth place, only two bubbles are here. So, in hundredth place, we have two. 
tenth place four ones place two so what is the number fifteen thousand two hundred and forty two it represents fifteen thousand two hundred and forty two like this you have to find a number by using this abacus i will give some problems note down this by using this abacus you have to find the number note down these two problems and do it as your homework after this next the next topic is the relation between these place values relation between place values we have ones place tens place hundredth place thousands ten thousands one lakh here ten ones is equals to one ten ten tens is equals to 100 100 one 10 100 is equals to 1000 1000 